Got him early. Let's get it. All right, y'all, so today, man, we got some new packages in. We got some early looks and sees for you guys and girls out there. Some you may already have seen. I'm, I'm actually late to the Jordan 4. You, you know it's coming. If you want to go straight to it, check out the uh, chapters down below. But I wanted to say that we're finally entering the month of February. And February, I feel like, is going to jumpstart this year. January, for the most part, has been a dud. It's been dead. Nada. Whatsoever. The, the, the two ochres that drove, the ochre joints and... Some twos, like, it was just dried up. So I'm happy to see February kind of pick things up. Let's get straight into it. First things first, I gotta show y'all this one. Um, this is a GS version of this shoe, but I, I, I wanted to show it just cause. This is the GS Nike Foam Posit 1 eggplant. Of course, the men's and the kids' version is extremely different. We get that. I get that. I understand. But what I was here to show y'all was that actual eggplant color, that posit material. Because for the most part, the posit material, it's usually a little bit more softer on the kids' models because it's a tough type of material and trying to utilize that on some kids' shoes where the kids' feet, you know, it just would have been a little too stiff to where they probably would hurt or roll on their ankle. But... I do see some creasing already on this kid model as well, specifically back here. And if you guys know, kid models do come with that plastic fake carbon fiber, whereas the grown up men version, they come with the real carbon fiber. So just keep that in mind. Also, it says in here, um, upper contains synthetic leather. I'm guessing this is more so on this part right here. I'm gonna be honest. I might have a little quick cor correction. This might not be at all the same material utilized on there. What it does feel like is that outer layer, that outer coating, that outer material that's on top seems like it, but the actual posit material within this part here, that part seems extremely soft, it's flimsy, soft taco, but the actual texture, the actual feel, that grit material that is utilized on that, that seems to kind of check out and be the same, but it's just extremely, you know, soft taco. But my main reasoning is just to show you that color, show you what we're getting here with the eggplant. Um, there might be, you know, I would say maybe some slight differences than the men model, but not too much. These are coming out actually on February 29th. So at the end of the month and the retail is looking to be $240. So you can see some little shine, that little, you know, slight color change going on. Might not pick up as well here, but it's, uh, you know, that purple with a little bit of like bronzy brown. It's a slight change and you might not be able to see it as much here, but it's there. On the bottom, you got that also, that big swoosh on the bottom there. But be on the lookout. We should more than likely get men pairs in fairly soon for you guys and girls to check out. Definitely, though, a phone posit I'll be picking up this year. We got those. I picked up the metallics. got those on sale. I think these might actually potentially sell out. If anything, these and the Royals should sell out. Next up, we have the Nike Dunk Low Brazil. Now these have actually released before, but these are being brought back. I seen these alongside with the Dusty Cactus making a return this year. And these are actually releasing on February 2nd. So they're coming right around the corner. Well, that should technically be tomorrow. So keep your eyes and ears peeled. We've seen the Brazils drop, the reverse Brazils drop as well. I gotta say from all the dunks I've been touching recently, the leather quality on these are extremely nice. It has almost like a baseball glove type of leather being utilized here. And you can see it a lot on that yellow part. It has a very, very nice overall quality leather. Reminds me a lot of the SB Dunk type of leather. And I say that because a lot of the Nike Dunks that we typically see, they have more of a, I don't know, it just doesn't have that old man leather type of, I was gonna say old man nutsack, but all right, I just said it. It just has that old baseball glove, bathed roof, goddamn diaper rash leather material going on here, you feel me? It just got an old look to it an old vintage style to it, whereas the newer dunks seem a little bit sleeker, a little bit firm. These got that wrinkling and this wear overall look on it. 
With that being said, um, potential pickup for me, potential. I don't really have any green and yellow. I've went through the, a lot of these type of colors from the red championship, which was, or that, you know, that USC Trojan to that UCLA version, which was blue and yellow. The red and yellow is what I just said with the USC Trojan. And then we got the Brazil colorway here and I sold all those. I never ended up keeping them. So it's something I'm kind of like on the line about. I think these will do fairly well regardless. These will sell out. Like, I think so. A lot of dunks lately have not been selling out, which is good. A lot of dunks have been more available. I've seen pandas sitting, women's size. If you don't believe me, go to Soul Play. They should still be sitting over there now at retail. Um, so we're at a point now, if you've been looking for dunks and ain't been able to get them, you're just not looking good enough. It is what it is. Last but not least, woo, we got these bad boys right here. Check out the box. It's reversed. Eight and a half, ten, Jordan 4 Retro, Black slash Fire Red. And we got, guys and girls today, the Jordan 4 Reimagine. We know what the last Reimagine did. The last Reimagine didn't do too well. Um, as far as, I hate to say well, because we always talk about this when it comes to prices, and I gotta watch what I say, because if I say don't do well, then the comments say, well, selling out doesn't mean it does well. What I'm saying is, Nike ain't appreciate how their Jordan 1 reimagined did. They had a big, big hope and thought that the community was going to get behind it. They were going to sell out quick and go stupid. Like, that's the perception. That's the goal that Nike had in mind. That did not happen. Them shits was going for 40% off on certain sites. Don't believe me once again? I know because Soul Play had them at that price at one point. They, them things, those along with those satin ones were going on huge sales, 20%, 30%. Seen them going for 40, as I stated. So this is the next reimagine. Now, I don't think that's gonna happen. These, these gotta go. These gotta sell out. If these don't sell out, then hey, it is what it is. I mean, hop on it, ASAP Rocky. There are a lot of these gonna be made though. A lot of pairs will be available for this shoe. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna be extremely easy, but that means that a lot of pairs are going to be made, so get on top of it. Find out what stores are going to be having their first come, first serve. What stores are going to have them online. More than likely, if it's going to be online, then you know that that might be a bot, so you might be better off going out in the streets and getting your hands on these bad boys. Check it out, though. comes with a hang tag, and I noticed that the hang tag is darker on this side and lighter on the actual Nike Air side, but, I mean, that's just something. The leather quality, I feel like it's very, very nice, and it has a very nice thick leather quality like the, the, the cuts as you guys can see is a good thick overall leather material used on this shoe i like the reimagine but i like the reimagines that are the ogs and i mean i'm saying that because there's only been what three of them already or four now the jordan one lost and found reimagine was a chicago that just looked old and you know been through hell you feel me that's what that was you got the jordan 3 reimagined which was the same kind of flavor you feel me at the end of the day it was the same thing um then you had of course the jordan 1 royal reimagined which was not the royal it was a royal it was a royal but it was completely switched out materials went from leather to suede and then you kind of see the exact opposite go down with this jordan 4 bread where it went from suede to leather and I like this one more. I, I like this one. This looks like this should have happened. This looks reimagined in a way. I don't see Jordan wearing suede Jordan 1s because he's never done it. But Jordan did wear suede Jordan 4s. We've seen him wear that. We've seen him wear, um, well, did he wear suede Jordan 3s? I'm not too sure. Jordan 1s, majority of the shoes that he wore at the time were leather. Jordan 2 was the same thing for the most part. Jordan 3, I mean, he had the black cements, the white cements. That's kind of the it when it came to the threes for Jordan. Jordan 4, the breads, they were like a new buck suede. The Jordan 4 white cement was the leather version. So I, I can see this being a real reimagine in some ways. Like it, it, it goes well, it meshes well, and it looks like something that could have came out. Definitely though, the Nike Air on the back is gonna be a plus for a lot of people out there. It is what it is. Um, a lot of people have already reviewed these, but Tony D ain't reviewed them. So we're going to make sure we get that review out for you guys and girls out there. Um, but it's a Jordan 4 bread. It's nothing different from that standpoint. Uh, we'll grab it. I don't have this downstairs, but we'll definitely grab it, do a comparison, show you guys some of the differences, if there's any differences, which like I stated before, I doubt. But this overall, 
very, very, very solid shoe, in my humble opinion. And I think that uh, this should have been a shoe that they've been dropped. Like, Jordan should have been rocking these, in my opinion. But And maybe he did. Maybe there was a P out there of some sort. I, who knows? You feel me? There's a lot of shoes that we still to this day are still to this day. I learned that Jordan wore at one point, and they're bringing it back out in some shape or form. So I do know they had that laser version. It was like a Jordan 4 bread ish color that was laser engraved all over that i've been waiting for them to kind of bring back they didn't but this is good enough it's funny though because the reimagined name definitely is going to play along in with the hype because we recently seen the jordan 2 black cement right which is the jordan 3 colorway put on a black cement in some shape or form that's kind of reimagined in a way putting that on that you know it, it was a shoe that looked like it belonged there, you feel me? The black cement on a two, it looked like it belonged there. This leather Jordan 4, it, it looked like it belonged there. It looked like it was supposed to have already have dropped. So, Lost and Founds was a Jordan 1 Chicago that looked like it came from 1985. A Jordan 3, reimagined, looked like a Jordan 3 that came from 1988. This, in my opinion, is the best true reimagined. A shoe that came out, has been swapped up, tripped out, changed, and reimagined in some shape or form. The ones and threes, I feel like are not really reimagined. They're kind of like vintage style. Do you feel me? If anything, these truly some Jordan 4 reimagines. Even the box, they flipped it. This could have happened. I don't know why it didn't, but it, it could have happened. So. So far, this is going to be the best shoe releasing this year so far. Even though we are only in the second month, this is a potential sneaker of the year or top five sneaker of the year for me. I mean, there's a lot. Look, I know y'all going to hate me saying that. There's a lot of shoes coming out this year. We understand. You know, we got Columbia's as well. But this shoe is going to hold its weight. Same way them Pine Green 4's, you know, held their weight, the SB's. This could end up being the sneaker of the year, and it could be the shoe that's dropping in the second month. Let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts and opinions. Is this a sneaker of the year? We, we got a good forecast of what's to come. And yeah, we got the Joe Fresh goods. We got the plenty of New Balances, Adidas. I don't know what y'all are doing. We're gonna have to wait and see. But Nike, we know y'all got some things up y'all sleeves. Jordan Brand, y'all gonna have some more, you know, collabs. We're pretty sure with all my manier, the fours and all that. But this, I'm just saying, man, it's definitely gonna be in the talks of uh, Sneaker of the Year. Hell, those Reimagined 3s held their weight for last year, so we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm out. Peace.